welcome to Medical Dialogues Journal Club. I'm Mr. Zaman and today I'll be talking about an interesting surgery that was recently performed at Prashant Hospitals. Sinusitis is a common problem in India affecting 1 in 8 people. It's an inflammation of the tissues in the sinuses which are spaces in the forehead, cheeks and nose usually filled with air. Sinusitis causes facial pain a stuffy or runny nose, and sometimes a fever and other symptoms or even complications. Functional Endoscopic Sinus Surgery or FESS is a minimally invasive surgery for serious sinus conditions to see and remove the affected tissue and bones. In a recent case where a 21-year-old patient was brought suffering from serious complications like nose block, breathing difficulty, headache and heavy cold, Dr. Ahila Swami, an ENT surgeon from Prashant Hospitals, performed this procedure under local anesthesia instead of general anesthesia. To talk to us in detail about the procedure, we have with us on board Dr. Ahila Swami, who is a trusted ENT surgeon in Prashant Hospitals, Walacheri, Chennai. Dr. Ahila Swami has completed his MBBS, MS, ENT, DNB, ENT and holds the fellowship of the Royal College of Surgeons. He has over 21 years of experience in various ENT surgeries, having done over 5500 endoscopic nose and sinus, 150 endoscopic skull-based surgeries for various skull, base and brain tumours and 2200 endoscopic scarless ear surgeries apart from other routine ENT surgeries in his career. He is known for introducing various new techniques of modern ENT surgery such as posterior nasal neurectomy and mini turbinoplasty for nasal allergies and totally scarless tympanoplasties and mastoidectomies for ear discharge. We welcome you to Medical Dialogue, sir. Thank you. So if you could please tell us what was the surgery all about? Yeah, uh, this patient had an, uh, um, sinusitis in all the sinus. Uh, we have eight. Uh, four pairs of sinuses, four on each side, all are filled with uh, uh, pus and polyp tissues. And uh, she needed surgery because she her lungs uh, was bad. Uh, the people in Gujarat, uh, she is from Saurashtra, they were afraid to give general anesthesia. Since I am an expert in local anesthesia, they came all the way from Saurashtra, Gujarat to Chennai to get operated under me. So I did uh, sinus surgery along with uh, nasal allergy surgery, which we call as PNN surgery or posterior nasal neurectomy. Okay, what was unique about the procedure? The uniqueness is uh, doing uh, first surgery, functional endoscopic sinus surgery under local anesthesia is very rare. Only very few people do that too. I am an expert in India and all over the world. Uh, I, I have done the maximum number of surgeries under local anesthesia. The other surgery for nasal allergy, that's called PNN or posterior nasal neurectomy surgery. I started first in India in 2012. For the past two, uh, 10 years, I have done more than 1000 surgeries for nasal allergy. I first introduced it in India, now uh, uh, all over India many uh, doctors have started doing the surgery and giving a good result for nasal allergy or runny nose. Alright sir, so Dr. Ahila Swami, what were the lessons learned? Lessons learned um, with a bit uh, training uh, to do under local anesthesia, you can do surgeries of first under local anesthesia so that the patients will be discharged. Uh, on the same day as daycare procedure, costs, uh, surgical costs will be very less. Uh, general anesthesia complications are avoided. One more thing I want to add, this uh, allergy surgery, post nasal neurectomy surgery is a very simple surgery. Um, a lot of my videos are on YouTube. People, uh, that means say uh, ENT surgeons all over India and world who have watched my videos and they have learned and started doing this surgery. When you, uh, patients who have undergone this uh, PNN postnasal neurectomy surgery for allergy. They need not take uh, anti-allergy tablets or uh, nasal sprays for the uh, running nose uh, uh, for in nasal allergy. Thank you so much for your valuable insights, sir. Thank you for your time. Thank you.
That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.